Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 5, 2 dimensional analytical geometry, exercise 5.5, question number 6. Cross section of a nucleic cooling tower is in the shape of hyperbola with the equation x square by 30 square minus y square by 44 square equal to 1. The tower is 150 meter tall and the distance from the top of the tower to the center of the hyperbola is half the distance from the base of the tower to the center of the hyperbola. Find the diameter of the top and base of the tower. See, in this case, equation of the hyperbola is given. x square by 30 square minus y square by 44 square equal to 1. Got it? Here what is given? The total height of the tower is 150 meter. The total height of the tower is 150 meter. But what is given here? The tower is 250 meter tall. The total height of the tower is 150 meter. The distance from the top of the tower to the center of the hyperbola is half the distance from the base of the tower to the center of the hyperbola. So I will take maybe it like this. Okay, in the diagram, you can see like this. The total distance is 150 meter. What they are telling, this distance from center to the top. Got it? This from center to the top will be half the distance from center to the bottom. Got it? So, I will take this distance is 2x. Then this will be half. That is x. Got it? I will read the tower is 150 meter tall. And the distance from the top of the tower to the center of the hyperbola is half the distance from the base of the tower to the center of the hyperbola. I will take from the base of the tower to the center of the hyperbola is 2x. So, this distance is half of this one, 2x divided by 2x. So, this is x. So, x plus 2x gives 150 meter. Therefore, x plus 2x gives 150 meter. 3x equal to 150 meter. x will be 50 meter. So, I can find this distance from top to the center is 50 meter. Similarly, from center to the base is 100 meter. Got it? Now, you want to find out the diameter of the top and bottom. I will take x1 as the radius of the top and x2 as the radius of the bottom. Let x1 and x2 be the radius of the top and bottom of the tower. Got it? Let x1 and x2 be the radius of the top and bottom of the tower. So, what is the point here? This is a point on the hyperbola. So, this point horizontal distance x1 comma vertical distance 50 and this point this is also a point on the hyperbola horizontal distance x2 vertical distance 100. When you substitute this point in the equation of the hyperbola, you will get the value of x1 and x2. When you multiply by 2, it gives the diameter. Got it? When you substitute the point x1, 50 in 1, you will get the value of x1. When you multiply by 2, it gives the diameter of the top. I will do here. The point x1, 50 lies on 1. Okay? Substitute in 1, x1 square by 30 square minus y 50 square by 44 square equal to 1. So, x1 square by 30 into 30, 900 equal to 1. This minus 50 square comes here plus 50 square that is 2500 divided by 45 square become 1936. Therefore, x1 square equal to 1936 plus 2500 
divided by 1936. When this 900 comes here, into 900. Add these two. 4436 into 900 divided by 1936. This is x1 square. After taking square root, x1 will be approximately 45.42. Therefore, diameter of the top will be 2 times x1, which is approximately 2 times 45.42, which gives the length as 90.8. 2 meter. So, in this case, diameter of the top is 90.82 meter. Very simple. Equation of the hyperbola is given already. Now, from the diagram, the total height is 150 meter. I am taking from the center of the hyperbola to the bottom is 2x. From the given condition, the distance from the top to the center of the hyperbola is x. Okay. When you add, it will be 150. So, it gives the value of x as 50. So, this distance from center to the top is 50. From center to the bottom is 100. So, let x1 and x2 be the radius of the top and bottom of the tower. So, this will be x1 horizontal distance, vertical distance 50. And this is horizontal distance x2, vertical distance 100. When you substitute x1, 50 in 1, you will get the value of x1 finally 45.42 meter. Therefore, diameter of the top is 2 times x1 which is 2 times 45.42, which gives approximately 90.82 meter. Therefore, diameter of the top is 90.82 meter. Similarly, you want to substitute x2, 100 in 1. You will get the value of x2. For this problem, the second portion, I will give it to you. Find out and tell me the answer. Similarly, when you substitute x2, 100 in 1, you will get the value of x2. When you multiply by 2, it gives the diameter of the bottom the tower okay this calculation i'll give it to you you'll find out but when you substitute x2 comma 100 in 1 you will get the value of x2 approximately 74.49 meter got it therefore dia meter of the bottom is approximately 148 0.98 meter. Got it? This calculation you will do similarly. The point x2, 100 lies on 1. Substitute, simplify finally x2 approximately 74.49 meter you will get. When you multiply by 2, you will get the diameter of the bottom is approximately 149.98 meter. Got it? This is the real picture of nuclear cooling tower.